Hello everyone, welcome to Python Guides. My name is Arvind and today we will discuss about Python NumPy concatenate. So before we start, let us move forward and have a look at the agenda for today. First, we will see how to use NumPy concatenate function in Python. After that, we are going to see our next topic that is how to concatenate 1D arrays in Python. Then we are going to see the main difference between the concatenate and the append function. So let us move forward and understand these important topics. Guys, but before I start, let me tell you, we have already created a detailed article on this topic and link of that article will be available in the description. You get all the code related to the example, which are available in the article only. So let so let me show you the article and we will briefly discuss about python numpy concatenate so guys as you can see that in this article we have covered many important topics so let us move forward and understand what exactly concatenate function works in numpy python so basically numpy concatenate function is a function from the numpy package which is used in the python coding language to join two different arrays uh, we can say uh, more than two arrays the concatenate function present in python allows the user to merge two different arrays either by rows or by columns this function can operate both vertically and horizontally this means we can concatenate arrays together horizontally or vertically. Guys, there are few things that you have to keep in your mind. First, first thing is concatenate is not exactly like a database join. It is like a stacking NumPy arrays. So now we are going to discuss about the syntax of NumPy concatenate. So guys, here is the syntax and this is the function name. And within this function, there are three parameters. So our first parameter is a, a array sequence. This is an input array. Guys, when you use the NumPy concatenate function, you need to provide at least two input arrays. And the second one is, and the second one parameter is access. As I have earlier told you that the concatenate function can join together arrays uh, that is vertically or horizontally basically it depends on the axis argument and by default its value is zero so guys if you are using the axis parameter in an example then remember one thing if axis is equal to zero then it runs vertically down and if axis is equal to one then it runs horizontally across the column so guys this function will always return a and the array containing the elements of both the arrays. Now we are going to check how does NumPy concatenate work in Python. Now I am going to copy this code and paste in my visual code studio. So guys, before you get started with this example, you have, you will need to import the NumPy package. Now I have created two NumPy arrays with the np.array function. In this program, our motive is we have to concatenate together two simple NumPy arrays. Now let's print them out by using the print statement command. Guys, as you can see the example, I have used the parameter axis is equal to zero. That means the array concatenate them together vertically. So guys, if you want the arrays is in the horizontally form that you have to use axis is equal to one in this function. Now I will execute this code. As you can see the output, the values of both the arrays that is array one and array two shows as per the axis. Now I will move further and discuss our next topic. That is difference between NumPy concatenation and append function. In Python, the append function will add an element to the end of an array. While in case of concatenate function, it will allow us to add two arrays together. 
in concatenate function the input can be any dimension while in append function all input must be of the same dimension so guys here is the syntax for append function this this is a function name and within this function there are three parameters first one is input array and the second one is access it is used to append it to array remember one thing guys uh, it must be of same shape now i am going to take an example and show you the difference between concatenate and append now i am going to copy this code and paste into my visual code studio as you guys see that i have imported everything from numpy library and then create an array by using np.array in both the function now i will execute this code as you can see the output the append function allows the user to add new values to the end of an existing numpy array so guys with this we have completed this python numpy concatenate topic so if you have any query regarding this topic please do comment in comment box and if you like this video please subscribe this channel thank you so much